seven millimeter socket. Take the two bolts out of the back of the cover. Little guy, you just turn it counterclockwise. It comes out, spring-loaded little connector. It's got a little cam on there that just hooks in there, so be gentle. That little clear latch that latches on that guy. So you got to be careful and gentle with that. Or you'll just bust it off. Have a loose this cap. little C-clip deal. I just use the pliers, hook it on there. Got this little guy hooked in here, so when it comes unleashed, it doesn't buck and go into oblivion. And we'll take a 13 16 and pull this nut off. Right with the little number stamped in it was down. You need yourself a steering wheel puller. This is just a cheapy deal. You put up there these two bolts. Just done in by hand. Tiny bit of oil on the threads. This, these holes haven't been threaded in for a long time, so that's a good idea. Just go through until it touches the plastic piece. Don't rent, uh, ratchet these in. You'll crack the back here, or push on it so hard that it'll bust those little tabs off. So, just in there until it touches it. Starts pushing on this plastic a little bit. This guy is going to tighten up against the center uh, bolt there and a little there's a pocket in there and uh, start pulling it out if you're worried about knowing where your steering wheel goes there's a tiny little mark inscribed in the bolt in the flange there or whatever in the bolt in the top there's a tiny little line and then on here there's a tiny little line you might not see it you gotta clean it up but i only have this much of pulling room but I'm pretty sure that's all I need for these uh, G-body steering wheels. Real easy. Two turns. Going by hand now. There she is. Just got the steering wheel pulled off. For this little plastic cap, I just lightly pried on it, it popped off in that spot. Then I came up here, did the same thing, just lightly pried it off. It should just do the same off the bottom, comes right off. So now, you look in there. There's a tiny little clip in there. And this metal plate has to be compressed down far enough for you to pull that clip off. And then you can pull this plate off getting to the turn signal switch. So we will see if this tool will do the trick. up so it doesn't spin. Let's see what we can do here. So now this outside metal plate is compressed enough. We should be able to pick that ring out of there. Three of them. Let's see what we can do here. Basically one to hold it from moving and one to open it up and put it up and over. I'll just slide it on up. That's probably enough to release the tension off that plate. C-clip deal up as high as it needs to because it'll just slide around the shaft. There we go.
lights off. So, put it on this rig. Move this guy. And it looks like we got a Phillips. Phillips. Phillips there. Possibly another one back there. Yeah. And then this guy. And the Phillips on the hazard, I believe, too. Pull that screw out. And that is connected to this guy. But I need to rotate the signal switch to get to that guy. So I probably should have took that one out later. Out, 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 and now this guy. Pull him out. Just hooks into the bracket for that. All right. Hazard switch. backing that up with my finger because when I push on it, it wants to push the switch in. There's the little switch. This may be the time where the wires have to be loosened from down below. Well, it's out, sort of. This little guy that mounts the bracket to this guy bolts into this guy that sits down there in that little pocket. So that just fell out when I pulled it out. Right there. That little screw goes through there and into that guy. Now you can see down there is what's holding it on is all those wires. They both look the same. That little metal piece that was in behind there and this one is installed already so makes it easier just count the number of wires here and then make sure you got the same amount I think I got to get the harness for all the wires connected to that loose so I am going to pull this little guy down and have a look underneath pop let's pull this guy little heater wrench connects in on that side so on that side they're kind of a bitch you might have to use uh, some of these picks reaching in there and prying up on there as you're pulling on the other side I pulled this one out a little bit here so be careful of that if you care about that shit and this looks like the wire pack here so we'll probably have to loosen these guys off and get a nice little gap in there and get to that plug I did loosen all four of these slightly. Those are 13 mil. And then this guy is 15 mil. There's one on each side. Should let the column drop down. There's the bracket that holds up the column. string connector deal that goes to your indicator you don't wanna you gotta be pretty gentle with that otherwise you'll stretch it and it won't line out line up or you could break it or something now we have access to the wires a lot more it looks like we should be able to fish them through I hope it's this guy so off. And now I will have to figure out which way releases this clip 
And that's not holding the camera job. Well, this is just going to be a matter of fishing it out. And the good thing about me is I like fishing. You can kind of see down in there. So as long as you don't get stuck like I just did. Piece of wire. It is. was just out a little bit like that and hooking so I just had to just had to fish her by there. Alright, old one is out. Let's make sure it is the same here. Amount of wires. Now we get to fish this back in there. at the end of the tunnel. Let's get her in there with a finger. Push her the rest of the way. Screwdriver. Alright. There she is. Pop it through. Click it back into its harness. Now, do I have to go back to my video to remember how these went in there? Is the question. Right. Yeah, you bugger. I'll try and get them all in before I slide it up there. position will give you a headache. Slide it up until the squares line up here. Push them back over. Little square bolt holes for the bracket that holds it up. Ooh, the wires that were on the side I put in, in inside with all of those so so be it. That's where it can stay. I will close it up with this. Oh, there's a reason why this stuff never gets put back on. So finicky. I don't even know if that's right. There we go. That's right. But there was a two a little two wire here that was separate in there. So it's in the main bunch now, but I can live with that. And then the plug goes on the brackets for it. I don't know if the camera can see, but I can see. Right there. Little end of the clip slide over that. This plastic piece gets pushed over first. May have to pull a bit of the wire slack down. Get this switch to pull back in here. Oops. Flicking the switch. There, it clicked right in there. Put the three screws back in. All right, one, two, three, and four with the little turn signal lever bracket. And then this guy. 
hazard switch. Now, I'll lightly put the bracket bolts back on and then push the column up and put those two 15 mils back on and this plastic guy on there. Gear, which only goes on one way. Get that ring, snap ring down there. Back this up so it doesn't turn into the adapter. Okay, it's far enough out that you can push it into the little gap. Should be able to push it down pretty easy with two hands. There she is, snapped in there. Now we release the tension off of here and she's installed. The plastic clip has a provision here to go around this guy, so click her back on there. Steering wheel back on. Line up the little marks. Get that little white plastic piece in there. There she goes. The splines lined up. There, it clicked right in there. Let's go straight to install this. I think I can just use the nut and push it back on. So normally, before doing the steering wheel, I would button up the steering column but I'm gonna be in there changing a the brake switch, so that's kinda of why I only am doing the wheel right now. You know, far enough that you can expose this little snap ring groove here. I just did that by tightening it down with a ratchet, and then we'll put this guy back over that into its home and be good. Leave this tight. Snapped in the little groove there. Cracked the little latch that goes over that guy when I was taking it off, so before it completely comes off, I'll get a little bit of plastic weld and fix that up before I put the horn cover back on.